Hello chess friends, today we're going to study the rule of the square. So what we mean by this is that it happens to having a passed pawn. Now the king in our position here, I'm talking about the white king, is a bit too far to protect the white pawn and to ensure its promotion. So it's way too far, can't do nothing. And then you may wonder if uh, you're able to actually get the pawn to safety to the other side of the board and promote it into a queen and then checkmate the black king. Now, normally you might be tempted to say, okay, I'm gonna go here and you're making an effort in your imagination to superimpose this sequence of moves and the other guy is gonna play here and I'm gonna do the next step on e7, then the king goes on c6 and then I'm going forwards. Well, there is a shorter way. So instead of making this effort, just visualize a square. Now, if you focus on the white square, which is on e5, you can see that you already got a square here, four by four square, okay? If it's white's turn, you're gonna push the pawn and get very, very super safely a queen. If it's black's turn though, the black king, is gonna step into the square where the white pawn is. Therefore, your opponent stops the pawn's promotion. You can't get a queen, right? So if your opponent's king steps, touches the square that we've just depicted now with our yellow arrows, okay? So if black now plays on b5, it already finds himself in the square. Now, there's nothing we could do we're gonna draw, shake hands, say thank you for the game, etc., etc. Pretend you don't mind, <laughs> like we often do in chess. Um, so very composed, okay? That's a draw. You can't do nothing. Uh, oops, let me put the pawn back. So even if you even if you advance, sorry guys, it's just the board here. So even if you advance, the black king goes on c6. You may go to e7. Black king approaches on d7, and yeah, well, you're gonna get a queen, but alas, black king's gonna take you. King versus king can't win, okay? So very important, just imagine a square, okay? Whereas if it's white's turn, okay, four by four, it's white's turn, go forwards, the black king tries to chase you, the other guy actually should actually resign, the other person should resign, because you're gonna get a queen now. Okay, uh, whose turn is it? Black. Oops, hold on a second. Uh, this virtual board is a bit funky. So let's just go back, guys. Okay, so you're gonna go. You already got three by three square. Okay, Black King tries to approach. Too late, I'm afraid, because now you're gonna get a queen. Okay, so now you're gonna get a queen. You check the Black King. And if you remember our previous videos in which we talked about queen and king versus king, the checkmate is just coming a couple of moves. Uh, you already checked them. Remember, position the queen a nice jump away. Uh, the other guy will just have to play somewhere just nicely, elegantly now. You restricting their movement, whatever they do. Uh, just something like, I'm just giving you now random moves that black might play in this position. Uh, I don't know, could be three, could be B1. It really doesn't matter. Look at this, very easy. Goes in the corner. Remember not to play queen B3 because you've got a stalemate move the king, let black king to just play on a2 and a1 a couple of times until your king reaches in time. And, oh, come on, man. Right, let me just put this guy. Uh, right, so, and you will be delivering checkmate then with the queen to b2, okay? So that was the rule of the square, guys. Very easy for you. Imagine the square. If the opponent's king touches your square, you can't promote the pawn, okay? And if, you, and if they don't, then obviously you're gonna get yourself a brand new queen and the victory is yours. So guys, uh, I hope this was useful and I'm gonna see you perhaps tomorrow. Okay, I'll probably one video a day or something now because I got a bit more free time. Okay, so guys, enjoy the rest of the day uh, and enjoy your chess. Thank you very much for watching.